church, you will locate your husband. I didn't hear a woman at all. Are we in church? Are we in church? Are you sure you are in church? I said between now and the end of the month, you will locate your man, you will locate your woman, you will locate your happiness, you will locate your joy. If you shout him and take it from me right now. If you shout him and take it from me now. Hallelujah. Altar in water. Joshua chapter 3. Who, who is my, where is my reader? Like that Bible. The Bible is born again. Are you ready? Joshua chapter 3 from the verse number 9 to 15. Then we will jump to chapter 4, the verse number 1 to 4. We're going to have some few readings. You know how I do it, don't you know already? You know how I do it? Do you love it that way? You like it? All right, I like reading and I will try to cement them together and give you a concrete word. Then we'll walk. Tonight, I'm going to prophesy to everybody here. Everybody, you will receive a prophecy. Everybody. Everybody. And next week, we are going to do what we call prophetic galore. Next week, there is something we used to do in Africa where we will tell you the history of your life from the day you were born to the day you will die. And that is what we are going to do next week. Amen. 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 Joshua chapter 3 from the verse number 9. If you are there, read to my ear. Chapter 3 verse 9 says, And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, Go ahead. Come hither and hear the words of the Lord your God. Go ahead. And Joshua said, Hereby ye shall know that the living God is among you, mm. and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Hivites, and the Hittites, and the Parasites, and the Gershites. Go and ahead, the Amorites, don't be confused. And Go the Amorites, and the Jebusites. Mm. Behold, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth passeth over before you into Jordan. Go ahead. Now therefore, take you twelve men. Now therefore, take you twelve men. Out of the tribe of Israel. Out of the tribe of Israel. Out of every tribe a man. Out of every tribe a man. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. As soon as the soul of the feet of the priest. As priests, soon as the soul of the feet of the priest. That bear the ark of the Lord. The ark of the Lord. The Lord of all the earth. The Lord of all the earth. Shall rest in the waters of shall Jordan. Shall rest in the water of Jordan. That the waters of Jordan. That the waters of Jordan. Shall be cut off. Shall be cut off. From the waters that come down from above. And they shall stand upon and heap. Go ahead. And they shall stand upon. And now go to, for the sake of time, go to chapter 4, the verse number 1 to 4. Now let me explain this to you before we go to chapter 4 so that you have, you have a common understanding. Now hear me. These were the children of Israel embarking on a journey. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, they, they spent 40 years in the wilderness. 40 years 40 years so the, the people that left egypt died and it was their children that were supposed to cross river jordan into the, the land of canaan now the bible said when they their days in the wilderness was over in the wilderness was over no matter how many years you have been in the wilderness one day it will be over Amen. when their days in the wilderness was over the lord came to Joshua and said to Joshua that it is now time for you people to leave the wilderness lead the people of God and get out from this place for you must get to where you are going and the Bible said he gave them him a commandment and said let the men that have the energy carry the ark of the covenant and let 12 men from the 12 tribe of Israel carry stones. And they didn't understand. So Joshua now became confused of what God told him. He understood the men that will carry the ark, but he did not understand the men that will carry the stone. So he now appointed men to carry 
the ark of the covenant, but and 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 the, 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 he, he became confused. So the Bible said he said, choose from among every tribe one man that will carry twelve stone each, one stone each, and it will be twelve stone, and make a move. So the Bible said they carry the stones and they embark on the journey. But when they were going, when they were approaching the river, now read the verse 15. When they came closer to the river Jordan, when the river saw them coming, the river went up. Please follow me very well. The, the 15. Read the 15. 315 or 415? 315. 315 says, And as they that bear the ark will come unto Jordan, and the feet of the priests that bear the ark will dip in the brim of the water, for Jordan overflowed. Jordan did what? The moment they dip their foot into the water, yes. the moment the men that were carrying the ark of God came closer to the river, dip their foot in the water, the Bible said the Jordan began to rise up, yes. overflow its bundles, boundaries. The Jordan had a boundary. Every water is given a place to stop at. Every water is given a place not to pass through or go beyond. But when Jordan saw them, the Bible said, Jordan overflow its boundaries, its border. Listen to me. When you are making a move in life, when, when you are making a journey in life, there are things that will not allow you to come to pass. When they see you coming, they will rise up against you. When they see you coming, they will bounce, they will bounce back against you. Am I talking? When the river Jordan saw them, I know very well that it is only a living thing that can attack a living thing. But I did not know that no living thing also can come against a living thing. How can you tell me that water have eyes to see? How can you tell me that water have ears to hear? How can you tell me that water knows that human beings are coming? And the Bible said the moment they saw, the water saw them coming closer, the water overflowed. Everything that has seen you coming, they saw you going, they saw you excelling, they saw you about to go high, and they are raging against you, and they are going up against you. Today, they will go down if you shout them in. If you shout them in, they will go down. In the name of Jesus. If you shout at me, they will go down. Amen. They will go down. Now watch this. So when Jordan saw them coming, they now, the water now went up. So they came back and Joshua talked to God and said, God, the water is higher than us. We cannot go. And God said, that is why I said 12 men should take 12 stones. Amen. And he said, okay, what are we going to use the 12 stones for? He said, cast it into the middle of the water. If you cast it into the middle of the water, it will become an altar in the water. Please follow me. It will become an altar. I, need, I like that mic. Just like it's going off. I like the, the, the... Give me that. Give me I'll manage it. So, 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 they, they threw the water all the 12 men threw the water in the, the, the stones in the water and it became an altar in the water of river Jordan. Now go to the verse number 4. Let's start. And it came to pass mm -hmm. when all the people were clean passed over Jordan. So the moment they throw the, the water into the, the stones into the water, the Bible said the water dry off. So the people passed and the moment the people pass, hear me, God said to them that as you are going, let the 12 men take extra 12 stones. Not the one they threw, but another 12 stones. For the one they threw, it will become a, memor a more memorial of an altar in that water. For years, it will be there that nobody will touch it. But let them carry another set of 12 stones, one one each, and let them leave 
the place. And the stones should go with them. That wherever they will spend the night, they should use it as an altar. Read it. We are still reading the Bible. We have not started preaching. Yes. Go ahead. That the Lord spake unto Joshua, saying, Take the twelve men out of the people, out of every tribe a man, and command ye them, saying, Take ye heads out of the midst of Jordan, out of the place where the priest's feet stood firm, twelve stones. Twelve what? Stones. stones. Do you understand now? Twelve stones. Uh -huh. Go with it. Go ahead. And ye shall carry them over with you. You shall carry the stones over with you as an altar. And leave them in the lodging place. Wherever you are going to lodge, leave them there. Uh -huh. There Go ye ahead. shall lodge this night. There you shall lodge this night. Now, he, give me your undivided attention. Now, when, when you come to God, you must understand the place of the altar. What is an altar? Altar is a spiritual airport. Can I say it again? Altar is a spiritual airport. Altar is where God meets man. Altar is where spiritual transactions take place. This altar is where God comes. And every child of God must have an altar in his life. Amen. You must have an altar that is speaking for you. You must, have an, you must have an altar that is backing you up. If your altar is not speaking for you, in the days of adversity, you go down. Amen. In the days of trouble, you go down. If you don't belong to an altar in this life, you are, of, of, you are, the, you are the most miserable of all men. Because the days of pain, the days of affliction will come. There is nothing that will speak for you. Now, the children of God were embarking on a journey. See that? They were embarking on a journey. They were going, see that? See that? See that? They were embarking on a journey. Sit down and enjoy me. They were embarking on a journey. God promised them somebody's property. Now, the land of Canaan was not empty. The land of Canaan was not a forest. The land of Canaan was already occupied by the Hittites, the Canaanites, the Amalekites. Am I, am I, am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. All the tithes, tithes you were reading, they were the indigenous of the land. They were the inhabitants of the land. They were the owners of 